When you appreciate yourself, it will no longer matter whether or not anyone else is appreciating you. Despite going through a lot of body shaming, Tenzing Chuki found a way to pursuing her passion in modeling. She is also an entrepreneur and sells eco-friendly products in Dharamshala. Tashdile Chukila, it is so nice to have you on Tibet TV. Welcome to our show. Thank you for having me here. So uh, Chukila, what is a plus size beauty pageant and how is it different from other beauty pageants? The, the plus size beauty pageant where I participated is called uh, Maven Smith Plus Size India. It was started in uh, 2017 uh, by Mr. Hardeep Arora mm -hmm. with the aim to promote uh, beauty beyond size and mm -hmm. to um, talent above appearance. And this year they have uh, successfully completed fourth season mm -hmm. with the aim to promote uh, body positivity, self-love and to break the stereotype of uh, body shaming. Yeah. And I also think that, you know, plus size, obviously it involves the participation of plus size models, but then yes. uh, body shaming does not resort to only the ones who are like, you know, of plus size, but also who are short, who are tall and who are also very thin. So I think it's also delivering a very good message to yes. all the body types. Okay, so uh, what is your experience in participating in the beauty pageant that was recently held in Delhi? So before uh, applying for the pageant, I was very skeptical about uh, like I being a Tibetan refugee. I don't, I never thought that I will be able to participate in such uh, competition. Mm -hmm. After participating, then uh, it was a very wonderful and life-changing experience for me. Mm -hmm. I got to meet many women who have uh, been through same challenges uh, I have faced, and uh, they are. Uh, they are also uh, promoting the same mm -hmm. body positivity and yeah. self-love. Yeah. Must be really nice yeah. being amongst them. And uh, talking about challenges, um, you always wanted to become a model since you were, you were very young. And you said that you were always subjected to body shaming in your day-to-day -day life. So can you share with us about the challenges that you face and how do you overcome them? Uh, since my childhood, like uh, I was called by many different mean names by my friend and uh, whenever I go to market by strangers, they pass very mean comments. And uh, to overcome this, like I think uh, I haven't over overcome yet because I'm still facing the same problem right now. You still do? Yeah. And uh, what I have realized, like uh, instead of just uh, tolerating what people are saying about you, you have to confront them what they are saying and it's very sensitive to the other people you are hurting uh, other people without uh, some people they say out of concern but it's always not nice you know mm -hmm. you don't know how other people feel exactly. when they are happy in their own uh, body and mm -hmm. happy yeah exactly because um there are so many people, for example, some people who are also very thin and then people, uh, they don't intend to do it in a negative way. But then like, I think people should also realize that these are sensitive issues and it can mm -hmm. have a very uh, serious effect on the other person. The advice that they receive is that you should take these kind of medicines and that person, you know, like she's very satisfied with the body. And then like, if you are recommended a medicine, mm -hmm. then Obviously, that person will think that, oh my God, I am in such a state that people are recommending me medicines. Yeah. And you feel, you know, when other people comment uh, or suggest something, you know, like diet plan or exercise, you feel that you are not enough. Yeah, and also you don't feel very confident about your body. Yeah, yeah and I think it is really important to uh, not just keep tolerating, you know, in the Tibetan community, there is this very common way of saying ignore, ignore. but for how long, you know? like you need to have a limit yes. and then I think it is very important for us sometimes to confront them and in that ways you're actually creating an awareness and making yes. them realize that you know even though the intentions are right the actions are wrong yeah, yeah. so um, uh, Shukila you're not just promoting body positivity but you're also very concerned about the environment you are selling eco-friendly products so how are you going to manage in both the streams, being an entrepreneur and also as a model? Uh, as an entrepreneur, I'm planning to uh, hire people who can work for me when I have to uh, work as a model. Mm -hmm. So I think I've planned that way only mm -hmm. to do both the work. So when you go for modeling, you will have your employees working for you? Yes. 
All right. So uh, you have taken part in the contest and have reached uh, top 30 and you have even won the Miss Perfect Height. So what are your upcoming plans in the line of modeling? Right now I'm in the process of becoming a professional model mm -hmm. uh, and I plan to work for a plus size clothing brand and I want to pursue my career in uh, acting as well. And through my social media handles, I want to promote self-love, body positivity, and uh, that's it. <laughs> that's a wonderful thought, Shukila. So what advice would you like to give to those who are going through body shaming and are not confident about their body? Like it is very difficult to uh, change the mindset of people. Mm -hmm. And when you don't accept yourself uh, and you don't love yourself, you know, it's difficult to expect from other people. Yeah. So uh, you got to love yourself and accept it. Mm -hmm. uh, Shukila, you are an inspiration. And I'm so glad that despite going through all sorts of challenges and all sorts of body shaming, because that will cause a lot of mental health. Yes. So, so um, despite going through all of that, I'm so glad that you managed to participate in a beauty pageant and I'm sure that all those who are watching our interview right now those who are going through similar experiences like you I'm sure they are all very inspired and they look up to you right now you are actually promoting body positivity and also going in the business where you're going to sell plus size clothing too thank you so much Shukila for speaking to Tibet TV it was lovely having you and all the best in whatever you are going to do Thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak my mind and uh, making me a part of Tibet TV. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next episode of In Conversation with Tibet TV.